up guys welcome to your 13th 3d studio max tutorial <coughs> oh jeez, must have whooping cough or something or swine flu anyways welcome to your 13th 3d studio max tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to be going over how to take an editable spline and add some depth to it so we already figured out how to make a regular spline just by using any of our drawing tools so i'm going to go to my top view here and get rid of my grid or else it's going to annoy me and let's go over here to the shapes and create a spline so I'm gonna go ahead and make um, just a little shape like this curve it and keep one right there and you can make a, any shape you want it's just I'm making this one for a very specific reason that you will see in a little bit and oh yeah just like that and not bad close that spline so now I have this spline right here and I'm gonna go ahead and select it and I'm gonna go ahead and right click this and convert it to an editable spline but I can't do that with my screen recorder on or it'll mess up so you do that and I'll see you in a second alright so now I took this and I converted it to an editable spline now in my modifiers tab right here I can uh, treat it like uh, editable spline so the first thing I wanna do and this is how you add depth to a spline let me uh, turn this so you can see the depth. What you need to do is select it, and then you need to go down to your extrude modifier, if I can find it, it's probably above the Fs. Extrude, and bam, look at that. You can change the amount, which is depth, and the segments is just for, um, uh, well, you can probably see in this little checkbox right here, if I select this. The segments is pretty much how much, how much data there is there. So I'm going to leave it with like only a few like that since we're not going to be really working with it anyways. And again, anytime you want to add, add depth, you need to go to your modifiers list and extrude. And that's how you can turn something that was 2D into 3D. And by changing the amount, changes the depth of it pretty much. So now let me go ahead and select this and get rid of my extrude. And probably didn't want to do that. Just want to get rid of my extrude modifier. So what I'm going to do now is add something called a lathe to this. And I think a lathe, I'm not sure where the name comes from exactly, but like whenever, whenever you put something like you're creating pottery and you put it on that thing that spins it around and like molds it, like, I don't know, like you're making pottery, I guess. I think that's a lathe. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment and tell me. If I'm right, leave me a comment and tell me I'm right. I need to learn something. But anyways, that's what pretty much does to this. So that's why I'm guessing. So in order to do this, make a lathe, and what that does is also take this 2D spline and make it 3D. We need to select it, and for the modifier, you can probably guess what this is, lathe. And I might even be saying it wrong. So now we have different options right here. This is the center of it. This is the min, which I want, and that's why I created it. And this is the max. Each one spins it a different way and gives you a different portion. So what that did is pretty much took that spline and spun it around until it made a 3D shape. So that's why I picked that since I made a nice little glass right here. So if you're wondering why the F did I make that weird shape, that's why I want to show it to you guys. So that is pretty much the basics of how you take a mo or excuse me, an edible spline and make it 3D. Again, that's the extrude modifier. Let me select that. Extrude modifier. And that would be face extrude or lathe right there. So those are two different ways depending on what you want to do to make it 3D. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be going over editable polygons. And that is the advanced way that you edit um, 3D shapes. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to work with 2D and convert them to 3D. So thank you guys for watching. The next couple tutorials, probably the next three tutorials, are probably going to be the most important in this whole entire series. series. So make sure to check them out. But again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.